Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with another video. Today's video I am super excited about and if you couldn't tell, I am, yes, feeling better. Thank you to all of you for your kind words and well wishes. Today's video I'm going to focus on the best Louis Vuitton strap dupe that I have found in terms of the nylon, I think they're nylon, but they're like a silky webbed type strap. And I don't think they're cotton because they do have this sheen to them, almost like a satin. They are amazing. And I was going to tell you where I got them. I was going to mod shot them for you with my pochette accessories, as well as my speedy bandoliers. My fingers are getting all weird and counting numbers I'm not even saying, but it's just because I'm excited. Sorry, I can't help it. I'm so excited. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, anyway, so I got three colors. I got the khaki, which is green, and I got the pink, and I got the brown, the brown. And there are more colors. They have black, they have red, they have blue, with like here on the pink, you can see there's a little brownish colored stripe on the side. The blue has a reddish colored stripe on the side. Did I say they have black? I think I did. So they have all those colors and I had such a hard time deciding, but what I decided to get was the brown with the Vaquetta trim. And yes, it is real Vaquetta. I actually even tanned it in my windowsill a little bit to get it a slight bit darker. And yes, it is real Vaquetta. And the edge paint on it is like perfect. The stitching on it is pretty much perfect. The brown is slightly off center and I think my pink one had a tiny little dent in the Vaquetta, but I'm telling you the quality on this stuff is amazing. I haven't seen stitching look this good on any sort of a dupe ever. I had one tiny little thread sticking out of one of these and I went ahead and just snipped that with some nail clippers. But other than that, I mean, these are impeccably sewn. I mean, look at this. Look at the detail work on these. They are so nice. I even got a chance to see some pictures of these straps against Louis Vuitton straps. And like you can see, look, this is just slightly off center, but for what you pay for these, and I'm getting to that, for what you pay for these, the quality is astounding. Now they don't have a true Damier Aben, but they have this pebbled brown leather. And yes, I did confirm it is real leather and it is gorgeous as well. I mean, look at how good that looks. And I'm going to show you how good this pebbled brown leather looks with the Damier Aben. It matches the brown canvas squares. So at first I was like, man, I wish it matched my handles. It goes with the handles, that's for sure. But the cool thing about this matching the texture, the pebbling on it really matches the texture on the canvas, is that it goes with the Damier Ben and it goes with the monogram. Check that out. It goes with the monogram too. So I had the option to order this strap with the Vaquetta in this color or to get it with this leather. And I went ahead and opted to get it with this leather because I thought it would probably go with both and it does. I was 100% right on that. And I just asked them, I said, can you make more colors with this color leather? And they said, no. But I did find out something that they would do for you. So when I got these, these are a little bit on the short end for crossbody. They'll work perfect for me and I'll show you here in a minute. But the longest one was the brown one. They varied a little bit in length. On the website or on Etsy, that's where I found this store. On the Etsy page, they said that they were 42 inches long. And this one is 47 inches long. This one's 47 inches long too. Let's see what the pink one is. This one is 46 inches long, roughly. Maybe just a hair shy, like a quarter, pretty darn close to 46 inches long. So I've got two at 46 inches long, one at 47. I kind of wish they were all up to 48, but I didn't even think about looking at the measurements. And since it's a company, 
in China, I think that they tend to make their straps just a little bit shorter. And so I asked them how much would it cost to make these straps longer? And they said, oh, no worries. Just write in the comment section how much longer you want it to be, like four inches longer. And so I get the impression that it doesn't cost extra for the extra length, but don't hold me to that. So let's get to the fun part. Let's play dress up. So of course you guys remember my multi pochette accessories hack. This one is done with this chain from Dress Up Your Purse. Dress Up Your Purse also carries these little O-rings, but mine are all from Motto. I really like Motto. I don't know that they make better O-rings than Dress Up Your Purse. Probably not, but I've gotten all my O-rings from Motto. They're kind of expensive, so you might be better off getting them from Dress Up Your Purse. But I put an O-ring on this bag for the reason that it keeps it together when I don't have the strap clipped onto it. So I'm going to clip this strap on. Don't go thinking stuff, Winnie B. I know you. And I'm going to adjust it just a wee bit shorter, about this much shorter, and then we're gonna see how it looks. You want to? Let's do it. Oh my gosh, guys, I love it. I love it. I opened these yesterday. I couldn't wait, but I was sick, sick as a dog. So I didn't really get to have fun and try them on. I'm feeling very bloated. So if I look a little bit bigger than normal, that's why. But this strap looks amazing with this bag. I mean, look at that. And it even has the little clippy thing if I wanted to clip something to have on my chest to swing around, but I really don't like that look. Not for me. I would say it's a no-go for me on the swinging around on the chest option, but if you like that and you want to put a charm there or something, or if you happen to have one of the round coin purses, you can even buy those at Dress Up Your Purse. They've got the little round coin purses. You can buy them in Viquetta in the Honey Viquetta and in other colors too. So let's do number two with this bag. So really, I just bought these two options for this bag because I figured if I got a brown strap that I could wear this brown strap with the brown bag, even though it has the Viquetta leather on it. So yeah, I mean, I think that looks pretty good. I definitely prefer green, but if you were gonna go for a more neutral look, this definitely works too. I love it. All right, now let's go to the star of the show. Actually, I don't know that it's the star of the show. She's just my new shining star. So let's check this one out with the pink strap. The pink strap is my favorite. I mean, it's got this really cool stripe down the edge. The other ones, they don't have the stripe. They have a line down each side and you can see it. Like if you look close, you can see that there's like a, a differentiation between the center portion and the edges, a different texture to them. It's not as prominent as what you're gonna see on the pink strap, but it is beautiful. One of my very favorites that they have is their blue strap. I'll insert a picture of it here. And anyway, the blue strap is just gorgeous. I just don't have a bag to go with it. So there we go. Now you see what I'm saying? I don't have a lot of extra space here. If I want to put it at full length, I can get it there. I'll probably wear it up just a little bit above the full length and have it about right there. You know what's funny is I think that my hack multi pochette in the Damier Ben actually sits a little better on my body, but I love this one. I love the chain it comes with. I just love it. I love that this front pocket here will hold a phone, the front pouch, I mean. The other way that you can wear this is you can shorten it. Now, I like wearing crossbody short. I think it's cute, and I feel like it's a little bit more secure, so I think you can wear it and kind of angle it a little bit like that, have the chain drape, and I think that that's a cute look too. I just feel like I've got a hold of my bag better that way. All right, let's do some more. I've got some more for you. Don't leave yet. Next, I have my speedy bandolier in Damier Azur. And you notice I pronounce it different each time. I do that so that maybe one time out of the video, I can get it right. I mean, I know it's a long shot, but <laughs> you never know. Sorry, I'm putting my strap on again. The pink is definitely the best option for the Damier Azur. 
I also have another strap. I know I'm the crazy psycho strap lady, but I have another strap on the way for this bag because why not? I found one and I like it. So there you go. So actually for the speedies, I would wear it just maybe just slightly higher because the bag is bigger. So the bag's going to hang down lower so you can put the strap up higher. And you may notice that my Speedy's patina is darker than the strap. And I was going to tan the strap just a little bit more, but actually I don't think I'm going to because my multi pochette is so light that just when I wear that bag, it's going to naturally get darker. And I don't really think it looks too bad like this. We're already at 12 minutes. How is that possible? I'm having too much fun. So I'm going to try the green on with my Damier Eben Speedy B. I have another option on the way for this bag as well, which means I have another option on the way for my Damier Ben multi pochette hack. But the style of these is just like chef's kiss. I mean, I love that. I just feel like that's like bling bling on your chest. Future Aaron here. I forgot to mention one huge thing, and that is that these straps do not say anything on them. And I love that because I do not want a brand name written across my chest most of the time. I mean, almost all of the time. I have a longchamp strap where the letters are spread out like all the way on the strap. And I'm okay with that because I love the colors of it and it's just not quite so bold. But if you have a brand that's like smaller where you can actually read the whole thing right there, I don't love that. And I'm not sure exactly how those Louis Vuitton straps are laid out. Straps are laid out, but I did feel like it was a little bit more prominent than I would want it to be because I don't really want to say Louis Vuitton on my body. The monogram canvas is enough as far as advertising what I'm wearing. And so I prefer these straps that have no words on them to the actual Louis Vuitton strap. And also, like I said, I saved a bunch of money by not getting the strap and the coin purse. I don't want the coin purse bouncing around on me anyway. And then the strap, like if I would have had the real Louis Vuitton strap, I would be worried about it because it's made out of a material and if I'm wearing it when I'm going to ball games and sweating on it, I would worry. I would worry if I spilled a milkshake on it or whatever. I don't drink milkshakes. I'm on a keto diet. But if I did drink a milkshake and I spilled it on it or got mustard on it or something, I would freak out. But with these, since they're only like $23.80 plus shipping, I would be disappointed if I got something on it. I would try to get it out because I do like to treat all of my items the same, even though they are varied in prices. But I would know that I could get another one. And that is just a comforting feeling for something like a fabric strap. Just wanted to throw that in there. Back to your regular programming now. It just dresses it up. And I mean, of course, let me show you. I'll put it down full length. You guys might like it better like that. I mean, I like it like that for sure. It gives you a comfortable place to rest your arm. So I think that's my length right there. Just a little bit above on all of them. This is my length. That's what I like the best. Once again, what can I say? This is just a gorgeous, a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous color combo. It's fantabulous. I mean, I just, I love, love, love it. I have one bag left. This lonely little number here, my speedy monogram bandolier, which I have sitting in my closet backwards because I'm trying to tan the front because the back chaps got darker from just sitting in my closet, but I think they're pretty close now. I don't know, maybe just a tiny bit more to go, but that's why I have the charm on the upside down side. So the question is to put the pink one on or the brown one on. I think I should probably do pink because the brown one's gotten more attention because the brown one got to try herself on with my Damier Aben pochette accessories, my monogram pochette accessories, and the pink one, it's only gotten to try itself on with the Damier Azure, so she gets a go on the monogram too. We're gonna take her for a ride. I'm loving it guys, living for it. I think it's so pretty. A little bit longer. Heck, you can even shorten it if you like your bag all up in your boob, but I don't. I like it. I think I like it just right about there. I think that's perfect. 
And heck, let's try a little shoulder carry action. That is a perfect way to carry these. So again, the patina is a little bit lighter. I've got hairs in my mouth and my nose, but I think it's a really nice match. And I wanna go ahead and just show you one more time. A lot of times on these pieces that are trying to mimic Louis Vuitton, the glazing gets really dark. And this one, it probably has one coat of glazing on it versus two, but it doesn't stand out and it really ties in super well to the Louis glazing. And lastly, let me show you a little tip I learned from Paul at Next Fashion. If you look right here, right where my middle finger's pointing, there's a little plate right there. That shows that you have a higher quality clip if it has that little extra plate right there. And the other way you can see if you have a higher quality clip is if you wiggle right here. If it wiggles a bunch, it's not as high of quality and it's not going to hold up as well perhaps. But if it's really, really firm and solid and it doesn't move around much there, you know you've got something special. So these straps, in my opinion, they are really something special. And let me get to the best part. That is the price. These are $23.80 plus shipping, and I believe the shipping was five or six dollars. You can upgrade to DHL for an extra $18. And the store was kind enough to do that for me so that I could show these to you a little bit quicker. And they also gave me a very small discount, but I did pay for the majority of these three straps with my own money because I was super excited to get them and to show them to you. So I would highly, highly recommend the store, the straps, and if you don't mind waiting, they'll get them to you through regular postage but it might take a few weeks since they're in china if you do dhl you should have them within a week so if you're excited like i was and you want to get them sooner and you're placing an order for several of them that 18 dollars kind of divides itself up amongst multiple straps the price was so good i mean i was looking on etsy and the next best price on one that has real leather was I believe 40 plus shipping. So even if you're paying DHL, you're still gonna be saving money if you get more than one. And on top of that, the ones on Amazon, which look identical to this, they are not made of real leather. So you definitely need to be aware of that. I would not wanna get one that wasn't made of real leather because these pieces would never get darker and would not match your bag as your bag ages over time. That is it in a nutshell. I'm Erin and I'm the Handbag Housewife. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you are not subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and that way you'll be notified of upcoming videos if you ring my bell. Also, if you are subscribed, welcome back. Thank you so much for your time with me. If you haven't found me on Instagram yet, head over there. The name's the same. It's the at symbol and then the handbag housewife. And my email is also the same. Just for keeping things easy, keeping it real. It's the handbag housewife at gmail.com. I hope you all have a fabulous day. Thank you so much. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.